on states the obvious about situations and one thing that people need to understand about what you're saying and people are saying oh but if um it's it's an angie it's nothing to do with angie it's just obviously me showing you well it is to do with angie but me showing you that not everything that people tell you on this app is the truth um what she's saying what she said there account billy queen was 100 percent correct um she was literally stating absolutely facts everything she said was factual she accuses people of things without no evidence um but that's the, that's that's okay in it because people want to be around these people and think it's acceptable and there is some good people in angie's life i genuinely think there is they're not all just upper arse and enablers. There is good people in their lives. Like Connie. Connie is one. Connie goes in Angie's life. She pops in here and whatnot. She's an, she's a, she's always come across to me as a nice person. So there is genuine people around the community. But people need to be mindful. Um, when she's saying stuff like, oh, if you're getting triggered, don't watch me. But if that person goes into someone else's life, you know what I mean? If that person goes into someone else's life, because they might be triggered. You start having a go in the, and you start saying, but, oh, that person's gone in there. That person can't be in there. They're in my life and all that stuff. It doesn't work like that. What's her name? That posted that video. Accountability Queen. The Accountability Queen. You'll see it. Just type in Accountability Queen. She'll come up. You get jumped on if you don't agree with her. Exactly. And that's a shame. And thank you, Jane Austen. Um, Jane Austen. Fucking hell. I haven't had that name in a while. Um... Accountability Queen, it's easy to find. Yeah, just, I'll just pin that a second, guys. That's the um, that's the where it is. Thank you, Irene. I'll just get Pearl up. She just requested. One second, guys. Sorry, everybody, for not answering your comments back. All I wanted to come up and say was all week, and I mean ripped all week, when people were saying I was mocking, I wasn't. What I was trying to do was say she was a bare-faced liar. None of that shit had happened. And that was what I was putting out, what it was proof coming out the ambulance people's mouths, plus whoever else around her had been ripped all week. And she finds it good to sit oh, there and see that video last night. And now she fucking needs taken somewhere for her own I, I, do you know she's she's tapped in the edge she's absolutely tapped the hate i've had all week over that and she can sit there laughing like that last night i can't believe it i'm going sorry pearl, pearl, pearl. it's oh. Oh, can you jump back up a minute pearl please yeah pearl come back please I just knew, Alex, this was heading. I could hear it in, in Pearl's voice last night. This is absolutely horrendous. I wasn't around. I was asleep last night, Jan. I missed it all, you know. I did my live at 8 o'clock. I, I don't know if you you know, but I did a live at 8 o'clock for people with suffering mental health and feeling triggered on the app. Um, and uh, the messages I get with people that's triggered, you know, they're from 30 and younger. Um, and I just knew last night that when Pearl's voice, she was just so tired. And it's definitely going to be, Alex, somebody that you don't expect that's going to end up um, yeah. breaking or hurt. And it's getting it's so out of control now to one, hear that. Uh, Jane, one second. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Miss Red, can you phone Pearl for me, please, and check on Pearl for me, see if she's okay? Yeah. Right. Anybody see if she can come back up and, and we'll have a chat. Or yeah. Tell her I'll personally message her my phone number. Because I tell you, this she actually she actually has Jane has been absolutely destroyed this week to do yes. regarding this saying she's been mocking it, and then last night she's laughing about it on, on the live and that and it's just it's just basically saying that all these people that have been going at Pearl and Dave and that calling them Rungans and saying that that person and then literally laughing on about it last night and live. Yeah, I know. It's fucking it, sickening. You know what? It shocks me that. It shocks me that it's such a laugh, Alex, because it's not a laugh because people are actually what? coming off these lives and they're doing it. They're actually reaching out to me for ways to stop doing it because they're getting triggered like and doing it. So what's so funny about it? There's nothing. But you know what? It is Pearl that's getting torn apart because what she's trying to do, I can see what she's trying to do and understand what she's trying to do. Maybe coming out in the wrong communication, but she is getting destroyed for something that she's trying to alert people to so nobody else suffers. Yeah, well, I'll get to, we'll speak to Pearl off the app. I don't, I don't want to bring her up. Um, she, she's a bit sensitive. It's not, no, she's not a bit sensitive. It's a bit of a sensitive topic. Sorry, that's the word. It's um, a sensitive topic. 
I didn't see it myself last night, but I'm going to jump down now. Can anybody tell Pearl that I'm going to send her my number if she wants to have a chat off the app? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure she she was probably in here when she, you said it, Jane, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, I'll get Miss Red to give her a phone call. I think she might have been now because she's in the live now. So. Yeah, and I'll send right. your chat to hear back. Okay, up. thank you, Jane. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It, for me, it's just, shall I remove my post? Um, message Pearl, Miss Ida, Miss Ida thing and see how, um, see how she feels. That's, see, that's, uh, that, that's a nice thing to ask that is, you know, that you actually gave a shit about asking, shall I remove a post because someone's mental health's affected. So big yourself up, Miss Ida don't give a fuck. Cause a lot of people don't, they keep it up because it's views. So big yourself up. When does this end? I don't know, Elaine. I don't know where this ends. When people stop going at people and blaming them and then doing it themselves, I think that's where it ends. You know what I mean? I think when you hold accountability yourself and say, you know what, I'm going to stop going at these people playing the victim when you're doing it yourself. I think that's where it has to change. And I'm not innocent. I'm as, I am I can be as guilty as the, the next person. However, I will hold my hands up if I've done something wrong and I'll say, you know what, I shouldn't have done that, and I apologise to you for doing that. And if you choose to still support, then you do. If you don't, you don't. And I'll, I'll never any send any hatred towards anyone. I just think it's really, really sad that it's now come to this, where people are think it's acceptable to, to be joking and laughing about these things, um, and then play the victim online and then laugh about it on the night time. You're basically mocking everything you've stood for. You've created people supporting you and created a network of support down to you thinking that them then thinking that you're a victim of getting bullied and abused and lying about things. When it, the truth is you laughing last night counteracted every part of your argument. You know what I mean? Pearl was true friend to Andrea and a lot of people was true friends to Angie as well, Nanny Sanj. People genuinely wanted the best, my, myself included. I didn't always want to be in the boxes. I didn't want to be all around her. Miss Red was a friend. Um, Miss J was a friend. There was loads, She had loads of people around her that was actually genuinely wanted her to stop talking about certain things, stop raising situations where there's going to be triggers in the life, um, offer advice. Never told her how to run a platform, just offered advice. Um... But that's obviously clearly she wants the controversy. You know what I mean? It all change when you start getting liked on that on that platform. I'm back, guys. Sorry, it's 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 done that thing again. You know, it does that lag thing. We're back now, guys. We're back. Yeah, it is sad. It is sad. I, I think Pearl's on the phone to someone now, I believe. Um, that has really upset me. It is kind of sad. It is sad. I hate hearing Pearl like that because you know what? She She's a tough cookie, but it boils her up. It's the same with Donna as well, Miss Red. She's a tough cookie, but it gets to a point when there's a breaking point. In, in myself included as well. Just because I'm a man... You can still get affected by people spreading stuff about you and lies on the app, and it gets to a point where you you've um, you break up. Like she said the other day, oh Alex was broke down. I miss Red's live for regarding all this, and um, and I reached out to him. me when I when I got upset on Donna's live. It was totally unrelated. I got upset on Donna's live when Donna was leaving the app and all the stuff that was going on around the app. The accusations, the pressure of stuff, people coming and mentioning things. But it was totally two separate days and two, two like time frames. There wasn't related, but relatable at all. But that's you spreading misinformation again. Just message Pearl Alex. Can you let her know? Yeah, I will. One hundred percent when she's off the phone. Um, thingy. It's it is sad, man. I've seen loads get bullied in her life. It they do. I've got, I had a video, but I'm not going to play it because I don't want to keep so showing Angie, 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 Angie. But I got um someone went in the box and started to t speak to Angie about her stuff, and a lot of people was just going at her, and it's not fair. It's just it is sad, man. It is sad. How can so this news i missed it down i don't know what's happened it is it is sad hopefully hopefully pearl gets um 
people can people reach out to us, send us some love and stuff because it isn't a fact it's just because it's Pearl and I always speak to Pearl and everything like it's nothing to do with that even if it was someone that I didn't know and they come on the platform and the same sort of thing had happened it's that nice hearing pain in someone's voice I'll be back in five just need oh sorry Voltori just drop me a message if you need to speak after when I come off the live <clears throat> You should stop playing her full stop. I think that would anger her more. Probably, you know, Donna, I'm going to be honest with you. Probably. The only reason I played it today, I didn't want to play anything to do with Andrea today. Like, I was going to agree with everyone. But when I seen that video of her trying to make out that she was talking about the P. Diddy situation, but she doesn't even know who he is. It was just her to play the victim online and start saying I was mocking. So I had to show her what mocking really was. And that was her mocking Jimmy Savile's victims. I was just replying to her lies, basically. No, I don't want to do this back and forth. I'd rather do my FYP. And you know what? Today, it was nice showing you the actual, you know, like the Mandela effect. We was all having a laugh. You was calling me a liar. And I was saying, go and search it yourself. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Fiona. And we was having a back and forth. And I liked that. And like when I was talking about my mum, decorating 25 million times a year, it was good. The interaction was perfect there. Um, and I liked that. I liked communicating. But I don't know. How are you doing, Levi? You doing your camp too, to mate? Big up yourself as well with the camp too. Levi Marsh is in the comments, guys. Here he is, right? Here we are. Where we go? Where we go? There he is. This guy does a camp too with um. Oh, where? Me hot. He hid my post now until I hot. Okay, thank you, guys. If you want to um hear now, you got Levi Marsh. He does a camp too, guys. Um, with Georgia and a few of us, he's built a new platform. And basically what he does is, you know, when there's things going on the app, he scrolls through and plays it and stuff. And, you know, it's a bit of a, co I call it a cosy corner. You know what I mean? No real drama, just balanced and whatnot. And he's just starting off. So there you go. Just let, just, just give him a follow, guys. You know what? We can we can always help people up and coming. I like his cam too. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's a chilled room. A bit different. Just just please give him, a, give him a follow if you don't mind, guys. Um... I was in his live last night. You, yeah. I passed through the other day and stuff, but obviously I got I got fucking muted and I bought one of his mods, but there's no hate towards him. <laughs> it's just me and that mod don't get on. Thank you guys. Thanks for giving me a follow. But you know what? This is what I mean. There should be there should be places on the app. You can have a, a nice chill. You can have a chill. Was it you was in his live last night? Fucking hell, I was asleep, so I don't know how many people he had in his live last night. Guys, go in Levi's room instead of Angie's. You can wait. Yeah, so I mean, don't give the don't give the hatred. Don't give the hatred views. Go like you know. Did you know maybe the expect the inspector? You know when everyone wanted to see what Alpha Bar was up to. Oh, Levi, you don't have to give me any gifts, mate. Jesus Christ! Fucking hell, keep yourself. That's what people are gonna say. It's manipulation now. Great, Levi. I'm gonna have to be on the FYP for a manipulation today. Um, but yeah, you know what? It, when it what it comes down to is. You know, people like the inspector used to do Alpha Bar, you know. He used to do alpha, play Alpha Bar because he didn't want to give Alpha Bar the views. Are you going to show your face, Alex? I've showed my face a few times, Martha. You just weren't around. Big up Frankie as well. You Can you write a comment, Frankie, as well? You write a comment, mate. Thank you, Gems. Yeah, well, I'll speak to Pearl. When I come off the live... Um, I'll speak to Pearl. I don't think Don is Pearl in the comp. Oh, Pearl is Pearl in the in the chat again. Is Pearl back in the chat? <laughs> you're right, Pearl. You're right, Pearl. There's another guy in the comments called Three Sixty Frankie. He's a friend of mine. He he's got a platform and he's an, he's another great person. You know what I mean? He, he he's going to start doing some crazy things with me on the evening. Sorry, Alex, about that. Do you know, I'm just, I just get so mad, honestly. And I'm not, because she'll take the piss out of that if she is that now. I'm so I'm mad with myself for that. But she doesn't realise how she's affecting people on this app by doing what she's doing. So I'm sorry, everybody. Honestly. Oh, you don't have, you tell, you don't have to do this on, on the live. You want, if you want me to end my live, and we can have a chat. No, I don't mind doing no, that. No, I'm just, I've come back up just to say sorry, everybody. I shouldn't have done that, but. Honestly, I was so no. mad when I seen that. No, you don't have to, the thing is, Paul, you don't have to apologise because the, the app gets to us at times and you the way you're feeling is fucking valid, you know what I mean? We all get to a point where it, people take the piss and people go and people come for you and stuff. And you know what? Last night was an absolute massive piss take. 
all week, all week. The hate that I've had people saying I was taking the piss out of more, uh, more, about mocking mental health. I wasn't. I was just trying to show people how she's taking the piss. And then to see that, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. That's just how scummy she can be. And everybody will sit and back her up and say, they'll turn it around to her way of thinking. I can call it now before it happens. Well, I was only laughing at that because if not, I'd have got mad. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Turn it to her advantage. So I'm, I'm just, honestly, I'm not being horrible, everybody, but I am going to jump down because I am just so mad with myself for the shit that I've had all week, off messages, Paul, off everything. I know, I'm Paul, so but you mad. ain't got to be mad. You haven't got to be mad. At the end of the day, the way I see it, Paul, is right. People are going to have that views because they're people that support her. But at the end of the day, like I said, you and Dave and everyone has had loads of shit this week saying that basically... We've you're all been blamed. Me, you, Donna, Dave. Um, uh, who else? Every, uh, there's that many I can't name them. We, everybody's to blame but her. And I know last night I said, that's it, I'm not speaking about her no more. You know, this morning, I swear to God, I wanted to rip my own face off when I've seen that. It's yeah. just, it's, I don't know how your people wake up to what she's doing. Honestly, I, I do. That's why I said, Pearl, I didn't want to speak about her today. I was listening to people and I thought, you know what, today I'm not going to speak about her. But when I seen that video, I was saying that, and she didn't even know, when when she was talking about the P. Diddy, she didn't even know who he was, she didn't know nothing about him and that, but she was just playing the victim, saying, oh, he's mocking this here. And I was just showing real mocking with her mocking Jimmy Savile's victims. I was saying, no, Ange, I'm not mocking. This is what mocking is. And all I'm saying to people is, people shouldn't point the finger and blame people for things when you've done far greater. No, because they jumped into bed with the devil and she'll twist them to her way of thinking. Yeah, that's what I said yesterday. They all have, everyone now that was once calling her out, now has jumped on her, jumped in bed with her, just basically showing that they're, they're you, trying to boost their own platform. It's pretty obvious to see. Yeah. Oh. You're obsessed. No one's obsessed, see. Why don't you go over to Angie and laugh with her and that and think it's acceptable? How about that one? Hmm. But Pearl, you know what it is, don't, don't, don't ever apologise, Pearl. For all the hate that we've all had all week over this, for all um, she's done that, so go and tell her what was funny about last night. Go and tell her that. Stop kissing her ass, go and tell her what she's all about, because she's absolutely vile, vile to the core. Alex, listen, thank you for letting me back. Everybody, thank you for your messages. But honestly, I am. I, before I get myself a banana, I'm going to jump down. Yeah, before you, before, you, um, before you go down, Pearl, Miss, Miss I Don't Give a Fuck, you know, the one that does the screen recordings. Yeah. She's dropped you a message asking you because she's put up a video and she's removed the video now because mm. she doesn't want to trigger her. So she's, she's asked you if she still wants the video to no, be kept up there. No, put it up. I was mad this morning. I'm mad at myself for getting that mad with myself because she'll laugh. She will laugh about that. So, no, put up what you want. Let everybody see what she's about. Honestly, it's about time people walk up to it because the biggest piss take on here is a... Uh, but no, at least to 45, you should be ashamed of yourself. Mm. Absolutely shamed yourself, saying crocodile tears. Absolutely shocking. Exactly, and that's what she'll say today, crocodile tears. I'm not, and I'm not crying because I'm hurt. I'm always crying because I was absolutely furious with myself for thinking I ever thought anything about her. And then she's on here taking a piss take, and she'll take the piss out of every single person on here because if it's not about her, it doesn't count. End of, it doesn't count. Wake up to yourselves, everybody. Everybody, honestly. Wake up to yourselves, what she's doing to you. Because she took me in, up line and sink, and that's what I said. I needed um, that thing tattooed on my brain because talk about a mug, I'm the biggest mug on this app. That's what I am. I'm the biggest mug on this app. Right, mm. I'm going to jump down, but thank you, everybody. I uh, Pearl, uh, Dave, apparently Dave wants you, mate. Dave wants you over his life. So if you want to go and give Dave a little check-in. All right, go on. The only two feelings that I have. All right, Pearl. Speak to you soon. Bye. Thank, thank you. Everybody. No worries, Pearl. This is what I mean. Do you know what it is, right? You don't have to feel accepted. Why do people find it acceptable, right, to literally come in here and saying, oh, it's crocodile tears, big up Angie. So when Angie cries on live, do you tell her that she's got crocodile tears? Because hers really are crocodile tears. Because you can't be upset one day about it and laughing about it the next. It doesn't work like that. That's not how triggers work, and that's not how you can feel. 
I know people's emotions are ups and up and down with this app, but you know what it is? You're looking like an idiot, a first class clown. You know what I mean? But big yourself up, Miss. I don't give a fuck anyway for um doing that. That's that's good. It's tear angers. I'll do the same. It is. It is. I've done it on the app as well. To be honest with you, people are waiting for Angie to crash. No, people are, are waiting for her to to just admit accountability. No one wants her off the app. No one wants to try and get rid of her. People just want her to take a little bit of accountability of um what's going on and then stop fucking judging basically. Stop judging other people based on your own actions. It's sad. I'll get angry. I'll cry when I'm angry. I do sometimes, Lee. I'm not going to be honest with you. You need to show Dave that the video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll see it. Um, I'm Pearl, to Pearl speaks to him off the app, I don't. Stop lying would be a good start. She would never take accountability. Well, it's done her, isn't it? The way she says it's not my fault. Ange needs to take responsibility and play the... And play, just needs to take responsibility and play the victim. Do you know what it is, Cass? She does it all the time, don't she, mate? She does it all the time. It's the same sort, same day, different jacket. Who is who in her life nurtured her the way she was to get her that ego? I think it's the app. I think that it's the people on the app that's created the um, the Angie that we see today. Because if you look at the video, she looked like a bubbly person. I used to see there was there was videos that got leaked before of her being on Instagram and stuff before the drinking stage. She looked like she was energetic, a laugh, full of character. So I believe it's TikTok and people around her that's created this, include, probably myself as well included, and other people that have created this Angie that we see today. She's obsessed with you. I oh, know, it's mad, isn't it? It's crazy, isn't it? What page? Uh, what page, Lisa? Um, what, do you, what do you mean? Yeah, Miss I, Miss I, Miss I D J it means I miss I don't give a fuck basically. I D G A F videos, it's on there. I just think I just personally think it's fucking absolutely wild. Um It is, it's bad. You, you the thing is when people talk about shit like that, like um, about the mental health situation, like you gotta take it as fucking you, well, you just take a step back. It's easy to explain. Take a step back, observe and monitor a situation and think, you know what, that's not right, and call it out instead of sitting there into the point of them. When it happens, going, you know what, fuck you, it's all a joke. No, it's not a joke. Things like that is not funny. Not funny and not acceptable. You can't be there crying about it on live and getting sending all your minions and the hatred over to one creator and when... The creator's getting all the hate, you're loving it, and then you laughing about it yourself. It doesn't work like that, man. It doesn't work like that. It's just sad, man. I expect better from people. I expect people based on my own actions, but we're all different, I guess, aren't we? Um, yeah, guys, Miss Red on this morning. She's going to be on this afternoon. She, um, just letting you know, so her mods just encourage it. it we've seen it. It ain't going to change, is it? Thank you, Alex. Alex, you told me on the phone it's all an act and she does it for views. Yeah, we. it's pretty obvious, Jojo. I'm going to be real with it. It's pretty obvious. She's She said that loads of times. I mean, but I don't, I don't speak about the conversations, you know what I mean? Morning, Carlos, mate. Morning. You know what I mean? I don't speak on the, the things. There's things I could say, you know, the things I could say about what's been said off the app and that, but... I just can't be asked. What's the point? Because it's just word of mouth, isn't it? If you've had a phone call, I don't rec record phone calls, so it's just basically her, her, um, hers against mine. Basically, you're going to believe, and you're probably going to th thank you, Kirsta. You're probably going to believe Angie, and yeah, there's going to be certain people that you, you shouldn't believe that, but you will. You know what I mean? Because you have over the years, there's been many accusations she's thrown against me, and I can prove ninety nine point nine percent that there are lies. But yeah, people just choose to believe us. Madness, isn't it? Mrs. Non-Receipt. Thank you, Janine. Thank you. I Morning, Alex. Just move on with your show now. Oh, I am. I am, son. Do you know what it is? It upsets me that Pearl feels that way, you know. I hate the fact that she's got really upset to do with that. You know what? Because she has had so much hate, right? So much hate regarding that this week. And I oh, know. I've seen it. Um, 
Here's, I'm going to play another video now, guys. This Angie's in this, but it's not about Angie, by the way, guys. So we're, we're, go we're going off the Angie scenario a little bit now. Is the video been... I think so. I think so. Yeah, she's okay, Michelle. She's okay. Um, the Angie's in the live, but it's nothing to do with Angie, if you know what I mean. She's in the live, but it literally is nothing to do with her. So we're not um, talking about her still. If Ange left the app, there's a few of who wouldn't have anything to talk about. Yeah, it's true. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, my head is banging now. It's hard to hear. It is hard. It is hard. Anyway, this is what's gone on with DG and Georgia. Um, Ange's in the box, guys. I'm going to clarify, but it's not about Ange. <laughs> He's into women. It is. He's in the same beds. No. This has nothing to do with me, guys. It's buffering whoever recorded it. It's buffering for the guys who was recording. I don't know, Jade. She'll be, I mean, she'll be around. I'm not even trying to show you. I swear to God, I swear on my mum's grave, yeah? She told me that you was kissing up. She stayed at the same hotel room. I swear on my mum's grave, I'm not even trying to show you. I'm not even lying. Well... That's a he looks guilty. I'm not even going to lie, Melon. He looks fucking guilty. I'm not even lying. I swear to God. No, DJ looks guilty, man. I'm, I'm not lying. I'm not even just, trolling either. I'm just, just, I'm I'm just confused as stuff. I'm just confused as shit because George is... I don't think George would say she that. She texts you the next day, yeah? I don't and think you, George would And you've ignored her. Eh? I don't... Well... For one, I don't think Georgia said that because she's not that type of girl. I swear on my mum's grave, mate. I dropped down dead right now. She said that to me. I'm not even yeah. trying to it. And then... I swear and to also, God. And also, George's into women. So that would make no fucking sense. But she was in Angie's box the other day saying she kissed the guy. Could, yeah, she could be bisexual. Yeah. Really fuck. Uh -huh. Do you want me to determine whether this is a lie or not, right? Because if Georgia had told... Millen, right? If Georgia had genuinely told Millen that, right, why would he need to clarify and saying that, oh, but the other day he said, she said in a box that she kissed a guy. But if she told you she kissed DG, you'd already know that. So why would you have to clarify about the other day? I'll pick up on things, guys. Oh, mm. uh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, DJ, what? Yeah, he's definitely lying. Mm -hmm. I think we should do some content together. Uh, See, the thing is, DJ, the problem I have here is that if that was me and I was being accused of that, I'd be like, oh my God, no, 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 she's a beautiful woman, but you know, I'd be like, no, that's ridiculous, but you haven't done that. Hey, DJ, no, let's go better DJ, yeah, let's I'm go better I'm okay, I'm all confused, that's all, like. Hey, DJ. I'm all confused because, as I say, I, I just don't see where that has come from. For one... Millen's just being mixed up. Yeah, that is I'm, not, I'm not... I'm not... I'm actually Millen telling the truth. Right? He's I'm sworn his mum's grave, man. He's sworn his mum's grave. I wouldn't swear on my mum's grave for no reason. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yes, because your mum's grave. I didn't hear yes, that. Yes, because she said that yeah. to me. What's I'm that, not even chatting shit. And the day after, she, when you were driving home, she was watching your live, and you, she said that in your, in your comments, and you ignored her. I'm not even lying, DJ. I'm not trying to be mixed up. I'm just, you know, see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, but men don't do that, man. Speak to Georgia off TikTok, can it? I'm yeah, just, uh, Well, I'm just, you know. Listen, DJ, forget all about that, babes. You saying? What you telling me? I, what's that thing about us when my dad's oh, grave? Oh, Angela, can we stop? You see, for me, like, this is where you fall out with someone and you start sp spilling private conversations and that. Something I find awfully odd, you know what I mean? I find it strange that when friendships break up, that you f that people find it acceptable that you can just then go, you know what, you told me this off the app. Well, you accepted it. You accepted that person for them and what they said off the app. But all of a sudden, you find an issue when you're not friends. For me, I don't get that. I think it's nuts. I think he's, he's trying to be controversial. Millen, I've seen a video where Millen was saying about all going at Georgia and saying that, you know what, he's going to become a bougie bad bitch or whatever he said. I'm going to become a bougie bad bitch. I'm not going to stand and take this shit anymore and on all this stuff. Like, he's trying to be the EQ controversial. That's what he's trying to be. Thank you, Dawn. That's how I feel, and that's my opinion. No one else is my opinion. 
Um, he thinks that he's going to get more limelight, more attention from it and that. I don't like that, guys. I don't like the fact is when you're friends with someone, you're friends with them, and then when you fall out of them, you, you start saying all the private information, the private business, and trying to make them look like fucking idiots. For me, he's jealous. He's jealous of Levi and Georgia's new platform, or if it's Levi's and Georgia's a part of it, or whatever, right, at Cozy Corner. I feel he's jealous. I feel that he, because he was, do you know how I believe he's jealous? It's because he was talking about Georgia was on my platform helping me out, and then he referenced about Levi. So there's an issue there, and that's when he's talking about that situation. That clarifies for me. That's where the issue is. The issue is that she's been spending time with Levi on his platform and probably not giving him the attention. You know what I mean? Some people are needing of attention 24-7. Not me. I couldn't give a flying fuck. However, others are. You know what? It could be in a low place. I'm not even going to knock it. Um, Miller might be in a low place where he needs people around him. I don't know. But this is just how I feel as a person. I feel he's jealous and he's attacking um, he said some horrendous things about Georgia, threw her under the bus, and at the end of the day, I don't like it. One thing I don't like, and it's not even nothing to do with me, however, like I said, there's too many people on the app that fall out with people, and they're like, I'm going through my WhatsApp now, guys, and I'm going to find out one thing that they said on the WhatsApp group. Oh, look there, guys, the Rungans. You accepted that person in your life. You were friends with that person, so why is it an issue now you fell out? Get Georgia in. She will clear it up. Georgia's in the comments, guys. If Georgia wants to depress the box, she, she would have. You know what I mean? I'm just saying my views, and I think it's just a little bit fucking... It's a little bit silly. Who needs enemies when friends like... It's mad, isn't it? There's plenty of things I could have done, guys. I could have... There's, I'm telling you for a fucking fact now, when all the, the app come for me, right, and they all with the pitchforks and stuff, which most of the time was warranted, I'm not going to lie, a lot of stuff that was said about me was never true, right? Never, never true. And I could have outed messages, personal messages. I could have outed a lot of stuff to clear my name and make everyone else look like the fucking enemy. But I didn't because you know what? That's me. As, that's me just being me. I don't want to out private information because I accepted these people as friends. So why would I need to out things? It makes no sense. People need to understand, right? People just need to understand that if you accept these people and you've had these chats and never called it out straight away, then you are as part of the problem as well. You are part of the problem. But there was another video. One sec, guys. There is another video that kind of... Yeah, this is it here. Yeah. This is another video that it relates in the sense Court Assassin and Angie are the same people. <laughs> Well, Elaine, that's your opinion. I'm not going to say you're wrong, definitely not. <laughs> but you know what it is. Um, at the end of the day, like I said, opinions are lovely in here. We love opinions. And anyway, this is um, Levi's Live, I believe. It looks like a Levi's Live because um, of the way it's set out. Yeah, it is. It, it is Levi's Live. <laughs> um, and this was she, Angie was in there talk with Birdman. I don't think this is, this isn't about Angie again, guys. I don't think. Um, I think there was just a conversation. It was getting mentioned, but you'd have to. Um, well, you'd have to watch it. I was going through fucking bad suicidal stuff. Because you were slagging me off. Me. Do you know I mean? Because you were slagging me off. This is why we're not yeah, friends. He's yeah, such a gaslighter. So, Linda, you're trying to come on to you're me. You're sitting on your own going, fuck but, Georgia. And I'm pissed off with Georgia. Mad. Nah, I don't want to hear my boss for no reason. I'm all just polite to you. And then you're coming on my live and saying this... Listen to this manipulation. I want Georgia to come here because right now she looks very, very guilty. No, no, no. So sorry, I do apologize. I've zoned. Huh? What? He's talking uh, so much shit. I feel sorry for one of her mod, uh, one of her mod Sav. Do you know what I mean? What? Sav. Let's see. Because Georgia didn't want to go on a date with her, and then that Jess Cash kept messaging wait, 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 is top, what, what is everyone saying? Top girls are all mud. <laughs> so, I mean, look, out it. This is what I don't like. Out in all private things. Talking about who she was going to go on dates with. If Georgia wants to make that public knowledge, that's on Georgia. It isn't you, because you fell out your van. You're throwing your dummy out the pram. I see this all the time on this app, man. Like, realistically, if these people have told you things in confidence and you are friends, right, don't don't fucking lower yourself to do this because it is not a good look, man. Not a good look at all. Some girls they went to my mum before, I can't remember. 
Shen said, anyone alone? How to distance myself about this happening? No. We'll no. talk. Imagine. I was sitting there. People are thinking, how do I do this? This is where, this is, say, look, they're talking and they mention Top Girl, and Top Girl's telling everyone to shut because she needs to know Top Girl all over this is. Maybe she's gone in there to back Angie. Hey, they're saying top girl's a pussy. I'm sick because I don't want a friendship with her anymore, so I'm gonna fit. Wait, what? I'm so bad, people. I'm so bad. I'm good or bad exposure. There's still exposure for me, darling. No, she's not. Dan, Dan, you're not saying that. I'm sick because I don't want a friendship with her anymore. Thank you, Storm. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That is top girl. That's not top girl. That is top girl. They said, that, they said, someone, I, I don't know if it's true, but they said someone said whoever that person is is saying. I mean, I, listen, I don't care if she is in there. She can get what she wants, to be honest. You know what I mean? I'm not a keeper. Pop girl has not said anything about you, Angie. Stop, stop letting. Somebody said that. Don't let people. Do you know, a, I've got a video on my phone. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to make this the Angie show right for you. But literally, Angie said, oh, our top girl can go wherever she wants. But you had Georgia in your box, not yesterday, the day before. Uh, and she said, I'll watch Pearl, I'll watch Angie, I'll watch Alex. And you kicked her out your box. You said, I won't have anything to do with Alex, blah, blah, blah. So you booted George out the box. There is there is control. What we'll makes you think that? Angie off saying she's a PDF. Hello? No, she never said that. She never said that. These people are insane. Well, no one's saying Angie off. I doubt Tom can say that about Angie. She's a mod. Yeah, exactly. I don't know either. Then why would you repeat it then? Why would you say it out loud if you know it's not true? Why the fuck would you say it out loud? She's saying it is not a truck. So I mean, man, like this is this is where like it gets to the stage of like leaking stuff, going nuts, and for me, it's just not what it's not needed. If you fell out with someone, move on, and just that's it. And people say, oh yeah, but you fell out with Angie. So, I retaliate, like, and maybe I shouldn't. I react to being attacked, and I'm going to say the word attacked, and I'm going to use it very fucking fierce. I'm not even going to say lightly because I can be off the app, and I'm getting bombarded and messaged and mentioned and that. And when I retaliate, they're like always oh, going after Angie again. Just take a step back, please. Take a step back and watch. And sometimes it isn't even Angie herself. It's a it's the people in her lives that are saying, "Oh, Angie, this has happened. Angie, this has happened." And I'm thinking to myself, like, where is where is where is it going to be? Where's the point? See, this is where, guys, look. This now is where he answers everything. We know what I've clarified, right? And I've said my opinion. This is where I um, got my feeling from about the situation. Look, hear what Millen says. Morning, Miss Tate. Um, look and listen. What? Not Yeah, look and listen, sorry. What Millen says at the start. Yeah, listen to what he says. Joe just gave it, Joe just got from my clap, now she's giving Levi clap for his camp too, so it's just helping Levi out, really. So Levi's getting better, Levi is actually beneficial. You know what I mean? Levi, you see, look, she's saying, she's saying, he's saying that she got clout off Millen. And then she's giving that clout to Levi. So that's where the real issue is. The real issue is that it's nothing to do with all this stuff that's going on and the stuff that he's saying. It's just literally why is Pearl so upset? Pearl's upset is because she's been getting loads of hate this week, like saying that she's been mocking Angie's SH when last night Angie was laughing about her SH and stuff and, and all that stuff and didn't go after um, Court Assassin for mocking it, but went then got all her... A lot to go after Pearl for it. Strange. I was going leave. I was live. Can you all send over the heart meters and taps? Oh, it's written up. What's out here doing, Levi? It's crazy how it's now being so nice to you. That's actually crazy. TikTok is a bit too much. She said she won't. I just feel like Millen. You know, I don't. I don't know. Can we get in the box, Georgia? Yeah, Georgia, come in the box. Because right now, she's not gonna. 
And I don't mind if you think it's my fault. I don't care what you think. I'm not coming in alive with you. You can sit there and think whatever you want. That is funny. That's a bit funny. Do you not think that? You're making her look like Levi. I like Levi. Love you too, Angie. Georgia, she's just gonna be in there just to give him a bit more exposure. So she's doing him a favour. He's been so many things from me, darling, and Angie. I'm her. What? Thank oh, you, Mr. Box hopping. She's a. This is what she is. She's actually called a box hopper. She's a box hopper. That's what I'm saying. She's not lying about that. She's a box hopper. She's literally the best. I've only just figured that out. I love going in big boxes. I love it. 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 I yeah, Dre, I did have to follow. Not true, I'm not in people's and business. She's not, yeah. Don't forget, she's a protective manager <laughs> for Levi now as well. Since she Angie's is. business, Pearl, she's she is watching them. Oh, uh, Do you know what I mean? Not she's true, I always say to Pearl and Angie, I'm not getting involved. Okay, not true. I can't wait for Eva Queen what she's got to say tomorrow. I can't you wait. You can't sit there with I'm your excited. name as F1. I'm just going to block it out, watch it and see what she's got to say. And then say those things. Okay, okay. Right, can you actually... See... see the thing is, he's doing it for views, as you can see. Like, I wonder what EQ's going to say about it, because you know he he goes at EQ and stuff. He's and he wants he wants that um that shine. There's another limelight on him, even if it is negative. Some people like that, I guess. It's just some people just love that attention, don't they? Even if it is negative, in some eyes they class it as positive as well. You know what I mean? It's kind of strange, but each their own, I guess. Millen loves all the attention. Yeah, okay, it's fine. It's you know what I mean. The, at the end of the day, we can't knock people because we can't knock people, call them clout chasers or people that want the attention because that's what TikTok is. Loads of people do it on the app, don't they? Well, I'm not going to knock him for that, but you know when their whole their whole platform is based around people wanting to be and log to be acknowledged and stuff. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. We the thing is, I can't even just talk about Milan. I think everyone logs the attention on the app. Because why would you do it? You want people to see your content. You want people to actually be in your live and see you for genuinely you. But a lot of people in the app don't see it that way. They think it's people trying to take the views off um, people. Not No, it's just people wanting to see people's genuine self. I want people to see me for me. I want people to be in my room to watch this for what it is. Um, but yeah, I've got another video now, guys. We're going to go after the Georgia thing because, like I said, it's a bit too much. Um this is Alpha Bar isn't happy with Zach DeBrett, apparently. I, like I said, I must have missed all this. I was asleep, so I didn't see what had gone on. Um, but apparently, I, last I heard, he'd made amends with her, with her mom and, and Alpha Bar, but apparently not, according to this. Yeah. Your chat was horrible. You were lying to my mum, lying to me, and you're not going to fuck my mum. Don't fuck my family. All right, I'm protective of my mum. Thank you, Bill. Alone. All right, so do not get information out of her and things like that, thinking you're hard and stuff. You don't know what hard is. I'm my mum, so you back off. Question, Alex, are you bothered about views? 100% not. Want views mean nothing, if I'm going to be honest with you. Views mean nothing on this app, right? Um, because... The views are never going to show you genuine support. All it's going to show is people are either in your life to watch you for a downfall or a car crash. I like interacting with people. I try and if in the mornings and that I try and say hello to every single person that says hello. If anyone sends a heart me, I try and thank every single person that I see in the live because I don't. What I find on this app, what a lot of people don't mention, is the fact that people gift people trying to get acknowledged in the live thank you kaza there's people that literally go into the big thank you shout go into bigger crack thank, thank you image i'll just keep, I'll keep doing this now um i'll get back to you in a sec thank you helen holly jane are you really trolling me now guys um but people going live don't get acknowledged right and then all of a sudden they gift trying to get acknowledged thank you little lady um and I don't think that's right. Thank you, Miss Jazz. Thank you, Percy Pig. You're trolling me now. Um, 
Don't little lady. It's not about that today. Don't because because you're a part of G Cruise team. Don't think you can start trolling me. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Purple Lady. Exactly, exactly. It's not quality quantity. It's quality, hundred percent. I have in my thank you, Vimto. Thank you, lady. Every day. Do you know what, guys? You're not pissing me off. I'm going to shut you all up. I'm not going to speak to you in a minute, right? Because you're doing you're doing to trigger me now. Um, every morning at the start, there's only like a few hundred people in my live, and I'll try to interact, Alan Cockapoo. You know what? You're pissing me off now, right, guys. I'm going to end up losing my shit in a minute. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. You're pissing me off, right? At the moment, I'm going to end the live, right? And I'm going to go and have a paddy. You know what I mean? I'm going to start, you know, when you're running around on the bed and stuff. I don't know if you ever do that, guys. Just, I always thank you, Jack. So I'll thank you. I'll thank everyone. Thank you, Lord. Do you know what, Shelley? Do you know what? I'm not going in this. Do you know what? I'm not going to start thanking you because this could be manipulation. This could be spun. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Lou. This could be spun into manipulation. So I'm not going to, I'm going to stop thanking guys at the moment, all right? Um, we know how it goes on this app. But I always thank you, Beth. I always say hello to you as well, Beth. Don't come for me, Geth, Beth. No, Jage. I'm back, guys. Can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Have we, have we got um Oh I've got the I've got the glitch now, I've got the black screen glitch. Oh I've got the plain black screen now, it's a glitch now. It's when the um one sec, stay there guys. Now it's a glitch now, it's when the um one sec, stay there guys. Oh I've got the plain black screen now, it's a glitch now, it's when the um one sec, stay there guys. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. I got the glitch, it was the black screen glitch when you can't, nah, it's not the lag. I had to, I had to um, bring it back then. It, uh, you get a glitch, you see, when it's just plain black screen, you can't add stickers, you can't add pictures, you can't do anything. So I had to bring I had to bring it back to you all and stuff. But yeah, thank God, I appreciate it and that. Yeah, it's Magina, thank you, Tinta. We're back, we're back. Like, and that's the, that's the problem. You, for me, a community is based on you interacting. Thank you, Cockapoo. Thank you for Don't even start this shit. You know what, guys? You do med in. Right? Alex, Dave, Dave, on, get him up. Dave does his own thing. Dave's got his own community, guys. He doesn't get him fueled up with the FYP. He pops into Reds and, and tries to get a few followers and fucks off. You know what Dave's about. Come on, guys. Um, Dave's Dave. He ain't changed, and that's why people like Dave, because he literally is Dave. He's pretty much rock what you see on the tin. That's why Dave gets the support. Thank you, Becca. That's why Dave gets the support he does, because he's pretty much black and white. Um, thank you, Becca, for that, anyway, for joining the team. Um, but, yeah, I try to interact with you. Thank you, Nicola Murray. Thank you, Dan. I try to interact with you all, because communities are based on us talking, interacting, and uh, getting acknowledged. No, he never. Fan fan I'm not even going to say that name. I'm not going to get that wrong. But now he hasn't. You know, I, mean? I enjoy in the mornings in my live. And like, if, I'm, if we're in my Discord and that, like I said, I'm not as active in there as I should be because sometimes it all kicks off at night times. I'm normally asleep, to be honest with you. But they'll, they'll interact with each other. I've got a great little Discord with people in there and they talk about shit. And if there's anything going down and stuff, they'll be like, yo, head over to here, let's go over here. Like, you know what I mean? Fan attic, ik, fan, fan attic, ika. Okay, then, we've got you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. There's, I like, I think what that's going on. Well, Beth, well, I'll add you. What, I lo what I'm seeing going on in this live now is what I'm enjoying in the morning. Chloe. You can happily join the Discord waiting for me. Invite. Well, just drop me a message, guys, and I'll, I'll send you the link. Um, you know what? Well, it's fun. I love the morning with you. I love how we kind of all on the same wavelength into a certain degree. And I love the fact that you'll tell me that I'm in the wrong. I love the fact that you say, Alex, I don't, I don't agree with that. And I'll be like, yeah, sweet. Perfect. That's what I love. I love the fact that you will tell me if you don't agree with me. Discord is boring. It's not been boring at all, Stacey. I'm not even going to lie. It hasn't been boring the past couple of days. I did weeks ago. Story, remind me. 
you're on the popular i know i appreciate 91 to be fair we've been getting like 60 and above on um on the popular the past couple of days i and i appreciate everyone that comes in the live and stuff i like it thank you georgia thank you i appreciate it guys thank you uh charlotte what is Discord? Discord's just another version of basically a chat room. It has different channels. People, majority used it for gaming. Thank you, Sabrina. Used it for gaming and stuff, but now people use it for other networks of communication. How you doing, Sammy? Thank you, Trace. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sally. But yeah, it's good, you know. It's good. It's good that you can express yourself. And it's just like, you know, when no one's on the app, can I get banned on Discord as well? Nah, you know what? It's, you can't get banned on it. As far as I'm aware, you'd have to do some fucking chronic bad things on there. Because there's a lot of channels that I know of on that app that was fucking swearing at each other. There was like a beef live, but there was like a roast live. And there used to be a roast channel back in the day, and I think it was about three years ago. And it was the worst people going at each other they used to put pictures of themselves and some of the stuff that got mentioned in there and what that was getting called is some of the worst stuff i've ever heard but you know what that, that, that was going on for years and it didn't get banned you get kicked kicked off a page you can get kicked yeah you can get kicked off a page but i'm on about the actual whole thing getting banned you, yourself you're very rarely going to get banged i'll get flagged do you know what it is with you do you know what it is close i think it's because how you talk you just say how it is, and I think people might see that as aggressive, maybe. I don't know. A lot of people, like Tam's another one on the app. Tam's another one on the app that she's just, she just says it how it is, spurts it out and that, and she comes across as aggressive, but it's just how the way she speaks. You know I mean? Thank you, Frida. Thank you. I'm blunt as fuck. <laughs> to be fair, do you know what? Getting to the point, I reckon that's perfect. I think that's what people should do. Get to the point instead of going around the corner, taking a f getting put typing the address in your sat nav and stuff. Just get to the fucking point. Morning, Irene. I'll get you up in the box in a minute. I'm just having a little run. Um, thank you, little lady. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for it. Alex Thomas Dormat. But you know what? Because everyone on the app, I feel, is never their genuine self, including myself. And I'm trying to now get to the point of me, you getting to know me as a person getting to know the true me instead of this stuff that you're hearing online from people and to be honest with you i'm myself to blame for that because of how i've expressed myself and how i've dealt with situations isn't the genuine me to be honest with you and to be honest with you i've looked in now sometimes i thought you know what you was wrong alex that's a situation you should have dealt with better but at the time we're hot-headed we don't give a shit and we just say how it is and that's how i feel a lot of people on the app should be the first time we spoke i oh, was when I took someone's head off over you. I oh, know it was mad. It was Chloe. It wasn't it. Thank you, Frida. Thank you. Just don't, you don't know, guys. You don't have to give me this. Live is not about that because this is this is what I'm trying to build a community where you get acknowledged. We can communicate and not feel that you have to gift to get my attention. I started listening to two weeks ago every morning and reading George's views and opinions. That's what I mean. Like I said, it people people said that I was doing it to try and go at Zach and trying to compete with Zach. Me and Zach are not in competition. His platform is great and what he does. His platform is totally different. He's got a whole show about what he does. And if you like him, you like him. If you don't like him, you don't like him. That is on them. That's on yourself. That's your opinion. Mine is totally different. These are my opinions. And... I got asked for my opinions. They were saying, Alex, what's your opinion on this? Alex, what's your opinion on this? So I said, fuck, fuck turn your gifts off then. I would, but the heart means to send stop. You know what I mean, Sophie? If I could just, honestly, I swear to you now, if I could um, locate it just the heart means, 100%. I would keep this gifts as just heart means. I'm just trying to build a team. You know what I mean? And you'll see, it, you'll see, you know, when the sub money comes in, the difference. Because I'll show you the, the, the sub money that I've received every month. You see what I do with it. So there you go. Alex has never asked for gifts. Nah, never do. Never ask for gifts. You know what I mean? I've never, ever been that way. Has anyone ever known me, right? Zach's platform is broke. So I mean, Beck. Great. You know what I mean? You watch Zach. That's cool. Just Thanks, Jesse. Has anyone said to me... Even when even when I was doing the rising, right? When I was doing the rising, I felt uncomfortable. People was pushing me, saying, go, Alex. I oh, thank you, short but sweet. Alex, go on, go live, go live. And do you know what? I hated it. 
I wasn't in my element there. I'm in my element discussing. Everyone knows I like to talk. If it's shit or whatever, I like to communicate and have a conversation. And that is just me as a person. But I've never, ever, 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 Angie, the best FYP. Yeah, amazing. Um, if that's your opinion, that is perf you're perfectly entitled to that. You never ask for anything. I never ask for anything. Never ask for anyone's help on the app. I never ask for anyone's anything. I'll just do me. No one can ever see, say that me, that I've ever been getting. If you want to know, guys, you want to see the truth, go to Tickleap and see what I earn and tell me that I ever ask for gifts. Go over. Compare me to other, other people on the app and then tell me what I do on this app. I couldn't give a shit. And if I could turn gifts off, right, and just have it down to heart me, it's like one coin, I'd do that just to prove a point. I don't need to... I, I don't look at this app and think this is my job and this is my financial gain. Each other people that do it, and that's fair enough, that's on them. I'm not knocking them, fair play to them. But me, nah. I've gifted big, but I'll never let... Sorry, I've just missed that, Jesse. I've never let someone tell me who to gift. No one should tell anyone who to gift, whose room to be in. The control thing needs to stop on this app. That tick leak made me see a lot, Alex. It's an eye opener. It is, it is Dina. You know what I mean? It is Dina. Thank you, just my opinion. You know what I mean? Angie's FYP is about herself. Well, how Angie runs her platforms on Angie, like, I mean, any cool lady like with me, how I run my platforms on me, um, other people who run their platforms on them. You can, we can't criticise. We, we can say that we don't like it, but we can't criticise. Good morning, Evil Lina. You okay? Fishwives and co are the worst for it. Wow, that's on them, innit? Did what they do on their platform, they do. But like I said, people shouldn't point fingers and drag people down when they've done the worst themselves. I'm Scottish and tight with my hard-earned cash. Big up the Scots. Um, thank you, Voltoro. Thank you, Leah. I thought we said Voltoro. You said you don't, don't gift. Just don't gift. Thank you, Leah. No one, honestly, no one can say shit about me about the gifting aspect of this app. I don't give a flying fuck. Do you know what? If I would still, right, I would still do live and do this with you in the mornings if I had 100 people or less in my life and the gifts were off. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get my heart maze back up because I was literally on 2,000 heart maze and all of a sudden, it's, thank you, Amy Ray, it's changed now. It's not down to 600. Everyone's heart maze have changed. It's weird, you know. I don't get it. Thank you, Dawn. It's just, it's just mad. You ain't got to keep gifting, guys. Please don't. Please don't. I feel like this is a manipulation now and it's getting to... The, it's getting to um, bothering me. You, f you thank everyone at any gift. I do try and thank everyone. Thanks, Julie. I try and thank everyone at gifts. And if I'm ranting, I'm sorry, I might miss someone. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Big Red. Sometimes I'll, I'll rant and I'm looking at the ceiling and that and just ranting. And I might miss people. I just try to interact with you as much as possible. Because I feel sometimes, like I said, people go in lives and gift. With, if they say hello to a creator on the app and they don't get acknowledged, they think they get acknowledged. Thank you, thank you, Laza. Thank you, Lucy Lou. They give, send them a gift to try and get the thank you. And I don't like that, you know. I really, really fucking hate that. Because you know what it is? I feel sad that you don't know what that person's going through. Maybe they want someone to talk to. And maybe, yeah, we shouldn't sometimes always be on TikTok looking for friends. Because what I've witnessed and what I've experienced on this app with people, are they genuine friends? I don't know. Because a lot of people are quick to throw you under the bus when, shit, when the, when the uh, kitchen gets a little bit too hot. As someone said, oh, inactive heart message are taking off now. I know. I don't get. It. I don't get how though. They're, how they're taking the inactive ones. I don't get it. I just don't get it how it's inactive because this account is relatively new. Really, it was only from the risings. Um, so these were all genuine people. Can someone explain heart maze? Apparently, it doesn't work if you don't comment. Um, you just if you, heart maze. If you send a heart me once and you comment, or you go in lives every day or every few days, I think it's five lives. If you don't go in within five lives and write a comment, it deactivates the heart me. A lot of people are friends with people who financially support them. Yeah, well, come on, we've seen that in it. I've, I've, how many people I've called pe that out on? Like, there's certain big creators on the app and that that are friends with the creators that are doing the big gifting, and they've done shit, but they don't call them out, do they? They don't call them out on their on the bad shit they've done because they're um they've got the money on the app. 
it's all about the control situation. I pressure Corey put on Katie's. The pressure Corey puts on Kate is bad. I don't even know that, you know. I don't look. Like I, said, I don't go in rooms. I don't speak to who these people are because what goes on in their communities on them, it's nothing to do with what me and my community or people that come in my life and stuff. What I'm building is I'm trying to build something genuine instead of something that's false for financial benefit. You know what I mean? Love me or hate me, I'll say how it is, and if I've done wrong, I'll, I'll acknowledge what I've done, which is wrong, and I'll hold my hands up. Because that's how it should, and that's where people can move on. You can never move on from a situation when accountability hasn't been taken. And I will continue to do that. Um, so he's battling Angie, and he messaged Katie to tell her. That's another thing I don't like. I mean, if you say to your community, thank you, sir. If you say to your community, like, I've got a battle coming up, that's fine. But you know, the, it's the ones that message saying, oh, I've got a big battle. I need to go and send messages to these people and stuff. That's what I don't like, man. I hate all that stuff. Or telling your people to recharge. Thank you, Snow. Telling your people to recharge. I hate that as well. Can't stand that. Oh, can you all recharge, guys? I've got a battle coming up. You don't own no one. You should not be telling anyone. That's the, do you know what? There's two things on this app. There's like a hidden, unwritten rules on TikTok. One, you don't tell your people to recharge. Thank you, Michu. You don't tell people to recharge, and you also don't go in other people's big gifters. You don't message. So if, so if you don't care about other creators or there are people, why are you so bothered about Angie Alex? I respond to um, allegations, false allegations, or if people are spreading misinformation about me, um, I will respond. I'm entitled to that, and then she's entitled to respond if I've said something about her. You know what I mean? What she does on a day-to-day -day basis. If you actually want to know the truth, right, um, Angie speaks about you just as as much. Oh, it's no, it's um, Jamar. Jamar, I'm going to be actually. I'm going to correct you there. Um, it, she speaks of me far greater because there was a time for six days I was off the app and I was still getting mentioned while off the app. So you know what I mean. I'm just going to be real with you. And then me coming at you, I'm just explaining the situation. I stopped gifting completely because I like I I don't even like people. That's what I mean. You do you. You know what I mean, Claire. Your entitlement don't need to explain yourself. It's, uh, the thing is, I, I like that's what I mean. That's someone that's kind of on, kind of kind of kind of on the fence. Doesn't want to. I just wanted to ask the question, and I'll answer the question. I ain't hiding from anything. If people need to ask me, like I said. I spoke to Frankie, right? And Frankie said, did he want to do it? Did he want to interview me? Because I've got stories, you know, that, and for me to express myself and open up, and I haven't truly opened up to people on this app because, I don't know, I get, I, I, I can't quite reserve with personal information, personal life, as everyone knows. Um, but, like Frankie was saying, should I do it? Should I interview and stuff? And you can discuss of growing up and the, the person. And maybe that would be a good idea. You'd probably be able to see me and see the things I go through and the things I've been through. And that's why, you know, when all this stuff goes on and saying, oh, Alex is bullying women. I could tell you stories with proof as well. This isn't, this isn't just me opening my mouth. I have evidence of everything, right? And I could tell you situations where you're saying about, oh, Alex is bullying women that would counteract you and make you look silly. You know what I mean? I could tell you and show you scars of situations that would make you look silly. But you know what? I think sometimes I need to express myself and tell you stuff that's gone on in my life. And maybe you'd understand me as a person. I ain't perfect. I'm fucking far from perfect. I used to be a right shit. Treated people like shit. But I grew up and realised that this wasn't the way to go about life. You know what I mean? I don't even gift. Send a heart mid. That's good crazy Welsh. Is this Angie Alex? Is this the Angie Alex talks about? Oh, it is. Ashley it is. I am the Alex that Angie um, talks about. Yeah, it's, it's true. I I'll I'll do clap back if, if someone mentions my name. Maybe I should stop doing it. Maybe I should stop doing it. Who knows? But like I said, at the end, thank you, Just Beth. But at the end of the day, I'll always express myself. And maybe it's time that someone does have that conversation with me and I'll do open up to you all. Because you, you're good enough to be in my room. Uh, you're good enough to like listen to me and whatnot but maybe it's time i opened up and show you as well show you me as a person show you the whole me and then you could kind of understand then that this this person that you've been being told about isn't the genuine person that i actually am
I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to be Mr. Perfect. I really am not perfect. Done things I regretted. Um, you know what I mean? It's life, ain't it? Been a bit of a twat on the app. Done things on the app that I really regret. You know what I mean? And it wasn't the, that wasn't the genuine me. Remember when G Crew came in your box and he opened up? It was brilliant. Yeah, it was great. That was Mandy. You remember that Mandy when G Crew came in and he expressed himself? That was that was good as well. And Jay did a great interview of him in that. Um, you know what I mean? Miss Jay needs to get back on the, the old saddle as well. Um, but yeah, it's good. Sometimes it's good to open up and express yourself. But like I said, these this ninety nine point nine percent of stories that you hear about me is not true. But it doesn't help that the fact is how I react to people as well. You know, what I mean, it it, it kind of makes me look guilty because I I am one of them people. If I'm getting slagged off or I'm getting spoken about and stuff, I do retaliate. It's just how I have. I have, I am fierce when it comes to that sort of shit. And we get a couple of people in the box: Irene and Unique J. Hello, you're right, love. Hi. How you doing, Unique G? How you doing, Irene? I'm good, I'm good. Morning, love. How are you doing, guys? You okay? Can I... I'm, good, right, I'm, not, I'm not stopping. All I'm going to say is I'm so upset this morning. Why, Irene? Because I made the FYP and you didn't even put me up there. Where was where you on the FYP? I've not seen it. No one shared me the video. Oh, it's all, I, I shared it to my own page, Alex. You can't share stuff on your own page and saying that's FYP, Irene. <laughs> no, somebody put it on the FYP about me, so I put it on my page. Oh, God's sake, Irene. I shared it to myself. <laughs> uh, does anyone want to borrow Irene? Does anyone anyone got a live here? Yeah, we can give you know, Irene would love to be a mud for you guys, you know. <laughs> No, but I mean. I'm, go I'm going, Alex. I just thought I'm a bit upset with you. You didn't put me all out on your page this morning. Irene, you can't screen record yourself, upload yourself and thinking that's bloody FYP. No, that somebody said it about me, so I shared it to my own page. Get out of the box, you clout chase. I've had enough of Irene. She does this all the <laughs> She's trying to get herself right on the FYP right. She's going, Alex, I've recorded myself. I've put my hands in the air like I just don't care. And you know what it is, right? Bloody Irene. Get a grip, Irene. Get a grip. <laughs> You're right, Unique, Jay. I'm good, I'm good. You are right. Yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good, you know. I thought I'd just pop in and say hello. Um... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Do you know what it is with this app? Do you know what I find hilarious? Don't all start feeling sorry for Irene, guys. You know what? She does this herself, you know. She literally filmed herself, put herself on the FYP. And she's, do you know what, Irene? Your bloody account's private anyway. So no one's going to fucking see it. <laughs> you can't record yourself, upload Irene. You're private. So no one's fucking going to see it unless you're friends with, like, fucking the whole app. God's sake. You know, she, Irene does this a few times, you know. She's a bit crazy at times. You want to hear it at night times and stuff? Oh, bless herself, bless herself and that. But you're right though, Unique G, look. Like... Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, that's good, that's I good. I literally unfollowed quite a few on this app. Because um, I can't be arsed, we're even the same shit. It, it gets, is, it is. It, it, gets, gets, it does get a bit repetitive. And like I said, I was agreeing yesterday. I didn't want to talk about the Angie situation. Because I want people to come in here, right, and literally speak their truth and don't want to see the old bullshit every day and stuff you know what i mean like it's the same oh. stuff every single day so i didn't want to do it today I, only reason unique g that i spoke about it today it was just because i've seen that video on the fyp and i got tagged in it if you look if you for people saying no that's not the case go and look at the video that i played earlier and look at the tags of me in the comments there's about fucking six different people that tagged me so yeah, i spoke I've on it and she was it, making, yeah, she was making me out to kind of mocking all this stuff so i was saying don't point the finger when you've done far great yourself. So I just highlighted when she, what was real mocking. Um, that's the only reason I wanted to speak on that. But and I don't blame you. Like, if, it, if it's got you in, if obviously if she, if the people are talking about you, then fair dues. Like, say yeah. your piece and then just leave it. It's You know when, like, just like, say, we had a big massive ding-dong, yeah? yeah? And then three months down the line, still going on about it. It gets boring, doesn't it? Yeah, like, it, it, it does it, get repetitive. <laughs> Literally, it gets boring. It's like you're on a record, com like repeating yourself constantly. I'm like, for fuck's sake. It's, just, it's not people. It's, honestly, I'm going to be real with you, Nick G. I think what we need to do as a whole, from every single person, it's our commenters, hosts, right? Stop blaming other, everyone, unless it's super serious, like you've done something really wrong. 
don't blame the petty stuff and bring awareness isn't that because there's people on the app that are doing the most like like i said there's the real wrong guns like the real pedlos that all of a sudden now are making their way back to the app because everyone's going at each other and that gives them a pass to just sneak in under the radar and then start manipulating or doing what they've got to do being the creepy side of but the internet where, but that's where tiktok's failed in social media as a whole because Convicted, it does, it does. convicted ends and convicted peas shouldn't be allowed on social media. That's um, and to be honest, there should be credit like there should be checks done. Um, yeah. And obviously, there people like that surely are on registers and stuff. You know so, the mad thing? I, I don't want to highlight something, but I'm going to say this with chess because I need to. Because you, with me, if it's on my head, I have to express it. If I don't, it'll boil up, and then I'll, I'll say it a different way, and it'll piss me off. Basically, like yesterday, I said a comment, right? Yeah. And yeah, okay, a lot of people might have taken it a, a different way, and I, I'm never going to knock them for that. I expressed straight away what I meant, and I clarified what I meant in that live at the same time, but people took it a different way, yeah? What and the same think? people that was in the other live were saying, oh, my God, that was shocking. But the people that are saying it is the one that's called me a paedophile on the, on the app. What did you, you actually know what I mean? say, Alex? I might have missed it. So what did oh, you actually I, I, say? I basically said that uh, NJ Host had been P did it, meaning, right, um, that he's got in bed with the devil, the devil basically. What I mean by that, and that's why I put the devil emojis, but people end up loading that because that clarifies what I said is what I meant. They won't upload any of that, you see, because that proves what yeah, I said is the thing. truth. This is the thing with this app, um, Alex, right, is whatever you say people either take it as a joke and have thick skin like me personally i laugh everything off myself i find everything hilarious Un you, you know like if, if, you know like if someone brought my child into it or my unborn child into it then i would have to say something but apart from that me personally i've got quite thick skin I clarified straight away what I meant, Unique G. I, that's why I put the devil. It's you like, never see me put devil emojis anywhere. But I'm I did not going to bring this up uh, to have a discussion on it. But like you know, the thing that Pearl said months and months ago, about six yeah. months ago. Thank you, Michelle. Now, I related to that due to the fact that before my dad passed, when we were kids, you, we used to get called not that name, but something else. But we used to get called wild. You know what I mean, um, and when she said what she said, oh, we used it as a, as, as children, and we said. The saying, thing oh, is, right? This is what this is where I think people need to understand. You can say this unique, Jay, because you're not addressing people, and you're yeah. not you're not mentioning it right. I think what you're trying to say, you know, when you was kids saying you little monkeys, is that what you're trying to say? What, uh, wild. Wild yeah, monkeys, monkeys, yeah. but this is what I mean. As long as you went, as long as you went addressing people of colour or anything like, that, you should be able to express yourself, and that's what I'm trying to say. This is where the app's gone wrong, and people bring in uproar over situations like you know what I mean. And yeah. for me, like unless you're uh, aiming at a person of colour and mentioning that, which is terrible, that is which is wrong. If you you should be able to say on the app and say if you wanted to call your child a little monkey, you can call your child a little monkey, and that's where really the app's got my child fucking. On TikTok, to be fair, I yeah, do what I mean. my, my lives, my lives, and when I go live is basically around uh, being a sem parent because my child's got severe additional needs, um, helping people on and off the app um, when it comes to like support for children with children and young adults with additional needs because that's what i do monday to friday i'm a support uh, one to one sen teacher so yeah. that's what i do on a monday to friday um and then obviously i've got my own small business on the side on weekends um so me personally i prefer to help the people that need it do you know what i mean don't get me wrong i've jumped in boxes and i've had my opinions on stuff but then I wouldn't fire a live up and start slagging people off because that's not the type of person I am. Um, don't get me wrong, I've had death threats in inbox when I've stuck up for like people like you, Miss Red. Um, I had my opinion on Pearl. Like I love Pearl to bits. I think she's ace. As um, yeah. she said things wrong. Yes, she has, and I, I did say that, and she took that on her chin, and she she took what I said, and obviously she did say it again. And me personally. Um, I weren't a big fan of Anja and but the only reason why I wasn't is because I've seen previously in my own 
personal. Um, when we were kids, that we saw dads, uncles, cousins, SA train, um, uh, unaliving, um, yeah. and drinking. Yeah. So we've seen it. Uh, what alcohol can do, what drugs can do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And at first, when I first come across Anja, I was like, "Oh, I'll watch her for a bit." Then I took a dislike to her because we were drinking. And then when when Pearl went got mates with her again, I actually started following her again. Now, if people went on and checked if I follow her now, I don't because again, I can't do it. I can't sit there and watch someone that I can see is on self-destruct. Yeah. And it's horrible to see, you know, when you've seen it first stand for yourself. Yeah, that's and that's yeah. where like, people need to realise. Like, the thing is, with this app and that, like, you, how you feel is how you feel, and you're entitled to feel that way. And, and now other why people have opinions. That's why yeah. I've not gone back in. Like, people are showing stuff, and I will have my opinion on it, and it's like I said on Miss Reds, but... For me, I, I've refreshed my FYP now, so I can't see it, and I've un, I've unfriend I've unfollowed them because uh, I. Do you know? Do you, yeah, it is one for you now, and Nana Cuckoo's in here now, and do you know this is where people don't understand, and this is why it infuriates me on the app. Does anyone know Black Pope? Does everyone know Black Pope on the app? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Black Pope's on the app. The guy's an educated black man. He's had, he's experienced a lot of a lot in life, right? Stuff that, as a white person, I would never have experienced, right? He spoke out on the app before, right? And he was telling Angie about a situation and saying that this is how I felt. And she, as a white woman, was telling him that he can't feel that way. How can you tell that person his experiences that he can't feel that way? And this is what pisses me off. You can't say that. And he's like, yeah, I can say that. I can say that. I've experienced it. It's my experiences. And and it was a while ago, and I was thinking, this is how dodgy, this how dodgy this app is. That you, as a white person, can tell a black man that they can't feel that way because of his experiences. Strange, man. Everyone, it's like everyone deals with stuff differently, like um, grief and everything else. Like if if I actually put my life story on this app, you'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe you're still going. Do you know what I mean? My childhood saved my life. I, I, I'm not ashamed of saying that. I lost my dad at a very young age. I, lost, I went off at rails for a bit, settled down, had my oldest, and then currently pregnant again with my second. And oh, if, it it having, well, yeah. if it weren't for having children, if it weren't for having my oldest, I don't think I would be here today. And that's me being honest, Alex. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people have asked me that, and I've said. The exactly the same thing. I've never changed. You know what it is, Unique G? I'm going to put in and say that. Do you know how many people have said the same on that, on this app that I've spoke to and that have been around if it wasn't for their kids and that they probably wouldn't be here? And you know what? It just goes to show that children have another purpose in life, you know what I mean? My, children, my child is coming up for 10 now. And he, he made me look at the world as a different place with him having severe additional needs. Um, so like he's, I've seen the other side. So with my child, he sees everyone as e like he sees everyone as equal. He doesn't see anything wrong with anyone. So he's very much an adult person. So that's what scares us as parents because he doesn't look at the dangers. He doesn't. He doesn't um, observe. He thinks everyone around him or anyone who's around outside is very nice people. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And in hindsight, it's not like, when we first moved onto the street where we're living now, people would take it piss out of him because he couldn't talk, but my son were laughing with him because he thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah. Like, he doesn't understand. And I heard it because I was cleaning him my living room and I had windows open, I went out and I started, I started going nuts um, like I do. And Connor come in and uh, he went, Mummy, they're my friends. I said, they're not your friends, though. I said, they were taking me car. Yeah, I said, I'm not having that. No, bless him. Um, but he went from being in a mainstream school to a SEND school. And obviously, the SEND school's brilliant. He went from non-verbal, not talking whatsoever, to having a full-on conversation now. He'll oh, tell God. you how he's, how he's getting on at school. He'll tell you what he's had for food. And this year is the first year he sat and said, 
mum, dad, can I have this for Christmas? Mum, dad, can I have that for my birthday? And I'm like, of course you can. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm so glad he's told me what he wants this year because at least I'm not trying to figure out what to get him. Do you know what I mean? But I, uh, it's a... Uh, but the, I love the way that you do come on because I, I were on one of your lives before. I can't remember who you were with and you were talking about send, send children. Because I'm sure yeah, I, I, did, I, did, I did a live on it. Um, there was a lot of people that come in my live. And I, do you know what? I was, I was, it was good because there was two separate groups, two separate people. Like there was two ladies and another two ladies that literally still now they made a friendship. They communicated because the one woman coming alive, I think her name was um, Louise, stayed that she'd never ever met anyone that had a child the same as her. And there was a woman in my life, I believe her name was Claire, um, kind of uh, made friends with this person and stated that, um, yeah, like they were shocked that, that, that they thought there was the only one basically. So now they've got a friendship. So good on them. Um, to your question, I really don't give a flying fuck that Andrew's blocked me in all fairness. It gives me some peace from FYP, thanks. Yeah, she, I, I mean, like, I, I'm going to be ending the live soon because, unfortunately, people in this live are being targeted by the cult now and targeting people getting called groomers and people are getting called all this horrible stuff. And I don't I don't want my live to be based on people being attacked because they're in here. Well, you know Alex, I, mean? I really don't give a flying fuck because, you know, she, she says anything to me. You think I'm joking, yeah? If she accuses me for anything, you know, my DBS, my full advanced DBS is literally on my side and I'll just show it. I really don't give a flying fuck. I've said, this, I've said the same, Unique G, like when she's throwing out these accusations. My, I will do an advanced DBS. I will show you my criminal record and it is fine. All you'll see on my criminal record is a bit fine. Uh, even if she did say that about me, how could I have a criminal record to say... Um, I have uh, then I haven't got a criminal record I work with children do you yeah. know what I mean you can't have a criminal record if you work with children so it's fucking she need, people on this app need to grow up and they need to stop chucking out um, that people are nonces and yeah it's been watered down too much now yeah. it was literally it's got to the stage on this app now where once upon a time, if you mentioned that word, the P, or there was an N-O-N-C-E, everyone was like, where? Let's go and get them. Now people are getting called it. Like, people are getting called idiots and twats. Like, and people are going, oh, he's a bloody N-O-N-C-E, he's a pedlo. And everyone's like, yeah, it's funny. It's literally nothing anymore. No one cares. And that's where you've watered down that word so much, it holds no meaning. So that's when, if an actual true N-O-N-C-E or a pedlo's about and you call it and people are going to think you're only calling it because you don't like him to Mad. be quite honest Alex like you, I've noticed you do keep yourself to yourself and you, you do you are fair in what you do when you are live but then how much shit you got um, and fair enough you've holded your hands up when you you've, you know you're wrong and you, you actually say it you're like yeah I hold my hands up I apologise I've done this aren't over I shouldn't have said that I shouldn't have said this my actions and then you come off the app for a bit you sort yeah. yourself out and then you come back and not many people are like that on this app do you know what I mean yeah. and you should be proud of that because you've got a community that will stand by you but then I would say 80% of TikTok thrive off the drama anyway yeah, but like I said, in the, the thing is now, like in the mornings, I enjoy this with the people in the mornings. It's a laugh, but um, and we are interact. Like earlier, when we was talking about the, you know, the. Uh... What were you talking about, Gwen? Alex, are you there? Is it gone quite a few guys? I'm back now. He done that done that lag thing. But you know, when, like, but you know when I was saying about the Mandela effects, that was brilliant. Like this morning, as I was interacting, and they was saying you're a liar, Alex. That happened, and I was going, no, you're a liar. Go and search it on Google and stuff. And you know what? That interaction is wicked. I enjoyed that. How you doing, Lenza? But you know, I mean, I enjoy that sort of stuff. Surround yourself with good people, and you'll thrive. Hundred percent agree with that. Hundred percent. You still there, Unique Joe? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that's what I mean. Like, that's why I'm trying to build this. 
you know what I mean? We did go search. You all did, and you know what was right, weren't I? And you were all calling me a liar, and I confirmed you all to be telling the truth. You know That's what I mean? It. Yeah, I, I enjoy that, you know what I mean? The mornings are really good for me. I enjoy it because my sleep pattern's getting normal now. Even though I was asleep at like 6 o'clock, half 6 last night, all the way through. Um, I just think I needed it, to be honest with you. It was draining. You don't sleep that long, fucking hell. It's lucky if I can sleep three hours, mate. I normally don't, you know. I normally don't. I just needed it. I, I've got COVID, so I'm not well anyway, so... Um, oh, man, I don't want to breathe negative oxygen. I like fresh air. Exactly, Manda. Exactly. So I'm trying to do in the mornings... You know what I mean? And I will be doing other things with other people on the app. You know what I mean? Like, I'll be doing things with Frankie, um, who's a friend of mine, and a few other people. I've got, in fact, actually, there's a big creator on the app that wants to do something with me. I'm not going to be naming the creator yet because it's still in, in talks. Um, but me and a big creator on the app have discussed uh, a, ver a situation. And before you think you know you, who the creator is, you don't. Believe you and me, you wouldn't mm -hmm. predict it. Um, it's not someone. It's not someone I speak. No, it's not Miss Red. That's what I mean. You, everyone thinks because it's um, it's she's a, they're a friend of mine. Like it's not Pearl. It's not Miss Red. It's someone totally different. Um, well, like said, if um, Alex does another send live, then I will jump in with me working with children. I've got a lot of insight, so I don't mind jumping in and doing a Q and A on Alex's who, who live. Who blocked you, Boris? To. Boris, message me. Who are you and who blocked you? Paul Breach, Jeffrey Star. Bigger than Jeffrey Star. Oh, is it? No, it is definitely it? isn't bigger than Jeffrey Star. Fucking hell. I don't think there's anyone bigger than Jeffrey Star on this app. I don't <laughs> think. You know what I'm saying? I will. I will get round to it again one night. You know, Chloe, and we'll get. We'll we'll have a catch up and hopefully get them people in the in the live as well. Um, you, you know, know the friends. Should, you know what we should do? Um, can I message you for some advice? Cause you can fire away a little later. Um. You know what I think we should do? We should do a night, and I'll even come live, and I'll I'll ju Julia, um, and bring people in, um, and have like a dance off, but a unique dance off, so it's for everyone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like for all mm -hmm. the same community, it'd be good to get like. Um, is it Tasha that does sign language? Yeah, Tasha. I mean, everyone went after her recently, didn't they? They were saying that the, all the people, the actual, you know, the, um, what's it called now? It begins with an M. You know, the sign language that she does, what's it called now? Makaton. Makaton, that's the one. Yeah. yeah, that she was doing it wrong and it wasn't actually, she wasn't actually doing it right and all this stuff. And I thought, you know what? It's sad that is that people getting attacked. People are trying to do a good thing and yet people always, they're the, they're the people that get attacked on this live. It's mad. It's mad. Yeah, I I know more British sign language than I do Makaton. I do do Makaton, uh, but I do more British sign language than I do Makaton's before. You know, I, I always said this and people were saying, that does make a lot of sense, right? You know, if the whole world was taught sign language in a, in a universal sign language, yeah? Then no yeah. matter where you went on the in the world, you could communicate. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have to learn their language. That's such a tool, though. You know what I mean? And if you if you everyone got taught a universal sign language at school, you could go any place in the world and communicate and tell that person what you wanted, and that would yeah. fucking hundred percent right sort things out. There's another thing though, like on this app, like there's people that self-diagnose. That alpha bar for one sheet it, it pff, frustrates me um, when it comes to like. Tourette's and autism and ADHD, and they'll sit there really? and say, That's "Yeah, I can, what, I can say I've got it." I'm like, "You need to go and see a professional." People don't understand as well, right? You know, like people go, "Oh yeah, I know about autism. My son has it." But you need to understand that the spectrum is so wide, right? Yes. That not <laughs> autism and not that's autism. That's you can't just say autism scary. and think, "Yeah, I've got autism," because the spectrum is crazy. Not two children are ever the same. There can be similarities and stuff. But not two children when they're so going for autism. My, my child is eye-functioning autistic, yeah? Yeah. Then I've got a nephew, um, and he, he's autistic. Um, and you put them both together. We've been on holiday together, completely two different children. My child is quite um, calm and collective unless it is having a full-on um, episode. Then, obviously his autism comes into play but with him having Tourette's as well 
um, it's a little bit more difficult, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but they're both different children. Same as my niece, my sister's got two children with additional needs. And my niece has got ADHD and you put the sister and the brother together again, two different people, two different people with two different additional needs completely. I will have a look, Boris. When I get in this live shortly, I'll um, I'll go and have, I'll read your message. And that and that's it. Like when people sit there and they say, "Yeah, my child's got autism," they may have got similar needs, but not every autistic. I've not come across a child that has got has got the same condition as my child, but hasn't got the same needs. Does that make sense? Yeah, hundred percent. Because everyone's different. Every child's different. My son has ADHD, autism, and learning difficulties to view. He wouldn't know any. You know, it's mad that, as you know, Chloe, because there's, there's a lady that comes in my life and that her son has been diagnosed with basically everything. And But you think you wouldn't notice from the outside. And that's I think that's a lot of things what people need to realise and take a step back and realise that you can't judge or say that that person's got this and that without actually knowing. And I think too many people on here are pointing the finger. And it's not so much related to children. It's related to people as a whole. People are too quick to judge and, and say that person's got this you know, or got that. You don't actually even, know. Even when someone's not told me that their child's got additional needs, I can I can see it a mile off. You know, like, I don't know. I think it must be like a sixth sense or something. You know what um, it might be? It's notice, noticing similarities within your, your child and others, maybe. It's because I got brought up with, obviously, my brother. My brother's not got his own mindset. It does work, though. Yeah. Um, but he's not a 20, 29 year old is more um, on the 21 year old 100% Tracy Luna um, and he's got severe additional needs he's also got ASD and ADHD but he does work he works full time he works at ASDA so people that turn and say AD, um, children with additional needs can't go on and do full time work they trap bubbles because they can't so, some can I know some can't but some can't yeah, it's, it's good, that is. Um, and he does his Andrew, own thing. I don't care if Angie's watching. Say hello to Angie. Use the emotes, guys, and say hello to Angie. Anyone that's a sub and got the special emotes, go and say hello to Angie, guys. You've got them <laughs> there guys, for a guys, if you are struggling and you do need help with, with an EHCP or if you need help transferring from a mainstream to a SEND school, then I don't mind helping if you drop me a message. Um, I will help you where I can help. I have helped quite a few on this app, but it does anything you tell me is private and confidential and does not get put on this app. Yeah, it's good. It's good, you know. It's good that you're offering help because a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't actually um, help. So big yourself up for that, unique G. It's good that you actually try and help people. There's a lot of people I've that too quick to I've shatter got... people down. There were a lady that were in. Um, I think it were. Oh, what's his name? Tony Fisher. She yeah. ran that live and she said she needed some help. And I directed her. Now she's got um, an EHCP in a draft for a child. Now we're buzzing. I'm like, I'm so glad I helped. <laughs> I'm oh, so glad I could Andrew's definitely crying. Just, it's shocking. And it, you, you, don't, you know what? It's just. You know, it just goes over me. Do you know I'll I'll speak to Carl and whatnot. It just goes to show what these individuals are like, can it? Go on. Uh, we don't have any HCP in Scotland, but I'm here. What? I'm here to support any sim parents. Hi, uh, I've not... Hello, I've not... Alex. You come to call me Alan, have you? I uh, know. I it's just finally nice to speak to you after such a like following you for so long and stuff. But um, I'm not popping. Sorry, sorry. Am I being rude and interrupting you, you need to. I'm so sorry if I'm That's speaking right, over darling. you. Oh, um, I just wanted to. Um, I was scrolling through the thing. I wasn't looking for. If you know what I mean. I don't know if you want to check on Pearl. I'm really worried, genuinely really worried about her because what Angie's sort of saying at the moment is really bad. Alex is sort of saying that she's playing the victim and she's going for everybody that's been in your box. It's um, it's shocking that Angie's actually Alex, like Alex, people about what I would victim. do, what I would do, babe, is 
end this live, ring Pearl and just see yeah, if she's well, alright. Yeah, that's what I said. I was. I'm gonna. I'll sort Pearl out. Right, because she, she, she's our, she's our going, but she's playing a victim, and you shouldn't listen to. And then she's going for poor lovely. I, I mean, I personally think Jane's a lovely woman. Um. And she seems to really help people and she's there going supposed mental health nurse or worker or whatever it was it's, it's just not nice it's just you know it's what I mean? shocking it's that nice she's, she's calling other people playing the victim when she's the ultimate victim player like make it make sense so i'm sorry to meet you under sad terms but also i'm very happy that i finally got to talk to you oh i appreciate deborah for popping up